Hey, Joseph59 here to show you guys how to make this Lion King clock. And you can download a free set of plans. And when you turn the lights out, you can watch it glow. To make the clock, you want to go ahead and start off by grabbing your materials. And I'm just using here for wood, uh, just regular spruce, uh, your lumber wood. Uh, that's a two by eight, which in width, that's roughly uh, seven and a quarter. Sometimes it can be seven, depending on uh, some of the lumber that you can find. Um, I just picked mine up at the local hardware store. Um, I believe they come like about eight feet long, so you would get quite a bit of clocks you could get out, uh, depending on how many you want to make. Um, this is just scrap piece I had left over from other projects, so this was great for me. Uh, for thickness wise, I like using it because it's about inch and a half thick, so I find it gives it that right depth on the wall. Um, with mine though, I had to put it through the planer just because it was sitting for quite a while, so I ended up getting a little bit warped. Um, so I just put it through the planer and just went down to inch and three eighths to my final thickness. I cut already to my final length as well, which is to the template size. And then you want to go ahead and trace out your corners. For adding the clock mechanism, what you want to do is on this template, I have left a little point uh, where it is going to go on the back. And what you want to do is in order to know where to place it on the back is I always like to look at the picture on the front and decide where I want it to go. And so you just want to take a punch tool that uh, helps and leaves a mark in the indent of the wood is you want to go ahead and push down on it so you get a nice indent. Now you want to go ahead and take your drill and I'm just using a 1 8 inch uh, drill bit and you want to drill all the way through. And now that way when we go ahead and drill on the back size, the larger hole for this, that way then you know uh, where exactly it's going to fit. And with the mark that you made uh, before, just want to take your drill and with a 5 16 drill bit, you want to go ahead and drill all the way through. And there we go. I'm going to go ahead and give it a test fit here just to make sure that everything fits in nicely and everything does. The only thing here I noticed is it doesn't quite stick out far enough. Right where the wash and the nut goes on that's threaded, you want to make sure that part sticks out about an eighth of an inch. So I'm just going to go head back to the drill press and just go just a little bit deeper so that part sticks out an eighth of an inch. And sand everything down nice and smooth and I just use my orbital sander front and back with 150 grit sandpaper and then around the edges, just to knock down the edges just a little bit more, I used 80 grit sandpaper just to give it a little bit round over edge, not too much, but just a little bit. And then I went ahead and did 400 grit sandpaper on the top. And then I did the same thing on the backside as well on these edges, just cause they were a little bit sharp. And then just inside in here as well, just so that when you are changing the battery or have to move it, that way then you don't cut yourself uh, where it's a little bit sharp. Once you get your photo printed out, I just got mine printed out staples just because it was a little bit bigger than eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper. 
Then I went ahead and I sprayed with 3M Super 77 Classic Spray Adhesive. I sprayed it onto the wood in the back side of the paper. I let it sat for 30 seconds, then I attached it on. You just have to be really careful. It's kind of like contact cement, so once it attaches, it attaches. Um, obviously, I just like this stuff better, the 3M Spray Adhesive, because there's less smell. Once that was dry, just let that dry overnight. And then I went ahead and used Rust-Oleum Painter's Touch uh, Blue and a Gloss Finish. And I did two coats of that just around the edges, edges on the entire project. Then I went ahead after that when it was dry overnight. The next day I went ahead and added the Varthane Floor Finish in a Satin Finish. And I added two coats of that on. To add your numbers on, you want to go ahead and attach the backing mechanism and just add the washer and the nut and just lightly tighten it up. Then you want to take your circle guide that's got the numbers on that I provided in the free plans. You want to go ahead and cut that out and make a small little hole in the middle and then just enough so that it will push through. And I just kind of roughly line up eyeballing where my 12 and my 6 would be that straight. Then I just went ahead and added my numbers on and just peeled and sticked them on. Now I did find on mine, I don't know because if I had them for a while, the stickiness wasn't really sticking as well. So just as an extra protection, I just added some well bond wood glue, just a little bit. This stuff dries clear so if things happen to squeeze out on the corners or anything like that you won't see it because it dries clear and after that was finished um, adding all the numbers on then I simply added some glow-in-the-dark stars which I just purchased at Michaels and then where the smaller dots were I thought would be really cool which would be adding uh, two different colors so this is for fabric but you certainly can add it on to pictures and stuff like that and so I just added a little blue and then your regular white and then that way then at night everything can glow in the dark. For hanging the clock up I simply used a small piece of wire, cut it to length and twist the ends and then added in two small wafer head screws at number 8 by 9 16 for attaching your hands to your clock, you just want to be careful because they are very thin and can bend very easily. And there's usually a certain way that it will go onto the shaft, so just be careful. You just want to add your small one on first, then your big one, and then your nut. Now this nut, I do find it's a little bit tricky on tightening because um, it only goes on a certain way. And then you go ahead and apply your last hand and usually it just fits right into the center. And there you go. Thanks for stopping by my channel and go to the video description link below for free plants. Don't forget to comment on this video. If you would like to see more of these videos, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.